Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Today we're going to do a collision detection to check when our player hits a GUI platform and he hits it, the bottom part of him hits it so he can walk on the floor. Walk. He's not really walking, he's just sliding across to be perfectly technical. But he will fall and he will hit the floor. Now, there's one big, 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 big thing I want to tell you all today. I want to tell you all that I've changed the font size to be big, 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 as I did in the past, but I just noticed as I was editing the last video that the font size has gotten considerably smaller, and I assume that's because I updated Roblox Studio and it did not keep my settings. So the big, 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 big thing is this big, 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 big text. Okay, so the text is much bigger. I hope you guys can read it a lot better now. Now, let's get down here. Now, what we have to do today is, as I said, check if he's hitting the bottom. And that's when we will stop his falling. Right now, we're just making him fall once he gets down here. And that's great and all, but it's not perfect. Um, and I actually want to make this a little bit easier for you all to see. There we go. Now you can see that's negative 0 0.01 and not less than minus or whatever. So now let's go up and we're going to make a new function right here and we're going to call it function check floor. Uh, I guess that that'll at least hopefully get the point across to everybody. Next up what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of copy this move left uh, a little bit. Just just a little 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 bit here um, and then if not collision blah 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 blah. Um, actually, no, we won't be doing that. Uh, if collision. Yeah, if. Nope, nope. Actually, we'll just return collision at the end of all of this. I'm, I'm kind of thinking through how we'll script this as I'm going here. Um, but now for the actual collision detection part. So here's if, as you guys remember, if. And we'll do check the X first, as we always have. Now, I'm going to be looking over to my left again, because, again, I'm not crazy amazing at this collision detection stuff. Uh, but I do have the collision detection formula to my left on my secondary monitor, as I have in the past. Now, hopefully I won't run into any issues like I did uh, with the check move left, I believe. Now... Let's see here. Uh, oh, one big thing I need to do is actually cut all of this and make a for loop. For i equals one number plats do, p equals plats i, oop, not o, i. And now we'll put our if in. And now in this if, we'll check to see that, uh, I believe, Yes, if p that position that x that scale is less than player that oh I, I'm players like that position that x I put the s again didn't I x that scale and you know x that scale good 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 um plus player dot size dot x dot scale and p that position dot x dot scale plus p that size dot x dot scale is greater than player uh, player dot position dot x dot scale and of course our y check check the y now p that position oops that y that scale is less than player that position that y that scale pl I, I, plus player that size that y that scale and p that position oops that y that scale which does not need the s in it Ay, 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 is 
greater than player that position that y that scale minus I minus player that size that y that scale divided by two okay then we'll make our then there and now inside of here well we need our end first don't we yes of course we do and now in here we'll just to do collision equals true I believe yes yes then collision equals true and and return collision so it's not a very difficult thing let me just run through this if the platforms position if the platforms X is less than the players X plus the players width so if the platforms very left edge is less than the players very right edge and the platforms very right edge is greater than the players very left edge then okay the X is true down here for the Y we've got to check if the top part of the platform is less than the players um, yeah less than the players Y the bottom part of his Y so here's the X uh, the Y the top of the platform and here's the players Y if that's true then okay stop and then if the p players that position that Y that scale is if the uh, platforms top is greater than the players position that Y that scale plus half so if it's halfway down and all of that then okay there's a collision on the top Collision equals true, return collision. So now down here, we're actually going to change our YVAL thing here. And it's going to be if, if YVAL is greater than or equal to zero, then YVAL equals zero, jumping equals false, okay? And then else if player blah, blah, blah. And else if... Uh, not check floor I believe we named it what do we name this yes check floor then and now we're checking if the floor isn't really working then okay the y val equals uh, yeah okay the y val equals y val minus z point zero zero one and this should this should make the player continue falling down whenever he is not on top of something. Now let's just test it. I don't know how well it'll work. There's always this trial and error process. But you can always hope that you're good enough and you've got it working properly. Again, good job, Gold Hydro. This looks amazing. Okay, so our player is still falling. That's not really good. Um, let's go in here to our player and go down to his player GUI uh, let's delete this 2D game go down to the 2D game in our star GUI and move the player up just a little little bit so we can test this again um, 8 8 that that should be good enough copy this paste it into our player GUI and yeah our player is just falling at a crazy high rate so that's not good. Let's try fixing this again just so we can at least see if the acceleration is working properly. And to do that, we're just going to change the Y to be zero. Um, and that way he starts at the very, very top. And we can see, okay, yeah, he's falling at a very fast rate. Uh, it gets faster and faster every time. So, okay, it's sort of working, but the collision isn't. Here's the problem, though. Else if, and actually, we'll, uh, we'll fix that up a little bit later. Else if, check floor, and you know what, no. Let, let's take this out of this else if thing here. So, if not jumping, then if not, if floor check, then and then real if not floor check or if floor check then y val equals zero 
else y val equals y val minus zero point zero zero one and that way we will check and if he's hitting the floor then he won't continue moving and let's put our player up to zero here actually now let's just move him up to point eight eight that way we can double check this and we'll make we'll put him back down to where he's supposed to be later on uh, I just really want to see how this is working right now and I believe it will work just fine just fine yep image by gold hydro that is great oh error calling global floor check what is the error let's go in here I know this isn't the right script but it's saying there's an error on line 108 okay did we name we didn't name it oh it's check floor not floor check uh, okay let's ch change that and actually we'll name it to floor check because it's easier to change it in one place than in several places you know so let's it's floor check now I know some of you guys probably caught me before I was even done but it it seems to be okay it's an easy enough uh, error to fix now our player has stopped will jump look at that he's jumping and he is falling at a perfect rate now so now if we went into our players player one and went down to his player GUI here I believe it's yes okay now go to player and let's put him up at zero just zero real quick and let's see will he hit that yes he stopped okay deselect he stops perfectly onto this now there's a couple other little things I want to fix tomorrow uh, a couple things I want to add to it but for right now such as this he's just jumping non-stop right now he can jump up as much as he wants but there's it's not that bad cuz watch we'll have him fall down here there we go keep jumping up here okay so it's not terrible it actually is starting to look pretty good but there's a couple things I would really like to fix all right so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button please hit the like or dislike button of course by any doubt you felt about this video the likes or dislikes really help me a lot in determining what you guys want to watch and gain more viewers so thank you guys if you do that and I will catch you guys later